So story time today. So I always talk to you guys about how important it is to fuel your body for your workouts. And um, you know, if you're if you're having trouble and you're feeling like you're not gaining strength or you're weak, it's probably from not giving yourself enough fuel. So personal experience today, just because I always like to share these things with you guys so that you can understand it from like a personal story, not just trying to like shout out science to you. Um, so I've been trying, I've been trying to cut down right now just for my own personal self. And um, I've been doing a much lower carb meals in the evenings, um, which definitely affects when I train in the morning. So last week um, on my chest day, I, I felt amazing. I did like, we, we did an, an amazing workout and I, you know, I, on my flat bench, I got like 225 for like 10 reps and it felt amazing and easy. This week we did the same workout. Literally from the first freaking rep, I felt completely fried. Everything felt heavy. I could, I, I got 185 on bench for like five reps and that felt absolutely impossible. So I didn't even go up past that today. And it was just because, I don't have as much many carbs in my body as I did last week because last week also I trained in the evening so I had more meals in me. Um, this today I had to train in the morning which I don't really like to do as much, so I didn't have as much food in me at that time. And and being lower carb, obviously my strength is going to drop a little bit. So um, if you're trying to cut or you're somebody who's on prep, um, and this isn't just for bodybuilding, this is for anything. If you're not giving yourself fuel, you're going to feel a little bit weaker. Now when you're trying to lose weight, that's okay a little bit because. It's not, you're not, you're not dropping strength severely, maybe just a little bit. And you know, the next time you do it, you'll probably feel better. But there's just those days, sometimes that you just feel depleted and you're not going to be as strong and it's okay. You can still get an amazing workout. I just dropped the weight down to what still felt insanely heavy for me for today. And I got an amazing workout and still, so don't stress yourself out feeling like you're getting weaker if you're dropping calories, if you're in a deficit, for whatever reason that may be. If you're on prep, yeah, we absolutely know that, sure, you get weak at the, you know towards the end of prep. If you're just dieting just for your own general self, then yes, your weights might drop a little bit. Now, you can use that kind of for the opposite end. If you're somebody who's trying to get stronger and you are really, really bad with getting your meals in and you feel like you're not gaining strength and you feel like you're weaker in the gym and you feel like you should be able to do more than you are, Think about what you're doing food-wise. Are you getting your meals in? Are you not eating before you work out? I know a lot of people love to do that. Before you go lift weights, you don't eat food. I don't know how you do that because I don't think I could lift a five-pound dumbbell if I didn't eat anything before I lifted. So, you know, hopefully that helps a little bit just to understand, like, how much food really does affect your strength, um, you know, in, in the, on, a, on a time, you know, a timeline. It, what you ate the night before is going to affect your energy and your, your strength in the morning. What you're eating throughout the day is going to affect your energy and your strength at night. So not saying you should just, you know, eat continually um, and, and just, just to be always be stronger. It just depends on what your goals are, obviously. But just take that into consideration so that you're either not being too hard on yourself when you might drop a little bit of strength or if you want to get stronger, make sure you are getting in what you need.